Welcome back, people. It's a bit of a conflicting day here for Bitcoin because we did just have a bit of a pump. I know a lot of people are very excited right now. Bull runs back on, all of that good stuff. But I'm going to burst your bubble here, guys. I'm going to burst your bubble. And the reason for that is because of this. All right. And this is the hash rate hash ribbons to be precise for bitcoin and uh usually when these cross towards the downside it's bad it means capitulation it means the miners are selling it means the market makers are selling it means price will undoubtedly fall into the abyss right uh as you can see right now it is not red on the daily but on the 12 hour it is if, if it's gonna load come on mate Come on, you ruined my whole reveal here, trading view. Thank you. <laughs> what have we got here? Yeah, uh, beautiful stuff. We can see it is in the red right now after this last candle. Uh, what that means is uh, it's telling us to close our trades, our long-term hodls. It's now telling us to close. Uh, and this is why this indicator is so fantastic. As you can see here, that would have been 100% gains in the bag. No questions asked. Just give me the money. Okay, just give me the money. Uh, so I have removed a little bit of my, my uh, longer term investment position on this thing here, guys. But uh, um, yeah, I am still holding some just based on the fact that we have bounced here. And uh, we are still holding this structural line. If we lose this structural line, I will be selling a little bit more here. And I will probably be shorting into this abyss a little bit. All right. Uh, and that's just purely based on hash ribbons. You do not fade hash ribbons okay you do not ignore hash ribbons hash ribbons is the one uh, and it is the one you want to be looking at pretty much all the time in terms of macro for bitcoin and when this thing crosses towards the red you can see here i don't know if you can see it actually but it says capitulation okay uh, and that's usually pretty bad here but we have pumped after that typically we can find usually when when we do get a signal on hash ribbons guys uh, that we do get a trap right so this could easily be a trap this pump up i know something what did just happen uh in the in the kind of fundamental news space around bitcoin and stuff so uh yeah that is what's caused this pump i'm not sure exactly what it's what it's called or i can't remember but i did look at it earlier uh and yeah what i can say here in terms of charts because that's what i'm good at here not looking at random pieces of news uh <laughs> the charts are the ones that make sense because it's maths okay it makes sense uh we can see that yes we are uh, potentially in the midst of a move here this wave could potentially not be done just yet uh, and the measure move on this bad boy on the hourly uh, is all the way up to about 65.1 roughly where our local highs are okay on our most recent pump up so uh, we will be keeping an eye on this uh, maybe I will take a little scalp trade here but I don't like how aggressive this thing was as you can see here usually when we get aggression from Bitcoin like this we like to come down and retest first and then continue the wave if the wave is uh, truthful, <laughs> right? If it's not lying, <laughs> right? If it's not a trap, uh, yes, uh, then I would be expecting a retest probably around um, 63.1, okay, before any initi initiation towards the upside. But if it is going to be super aggressive, then we might target something around this area. Uh, ideally, we want to get above this high here, but uh, I mean, we could look at this bad boy up here if we're going to be a bit more cautious. Uh, just remember, this is an hourly though. So the percentage here, it is going to be roughly 1%. And if I am looking for a 1% trade here guys I would prefer to do it bouncing off this 7 SMA so uh, if this momentum wants to cool down over here over the next few hours the 7 SMA wants to come up we want to tap that 7 SMA then we can find a little 1% trade off of that uh, and that will be a lot more reliable trade based on the eight years I've been doing this okay so uh, yeah that, just looking to see what the bots are doing the bots will always trade off of the moving averages as you can see here right they love to trade and bounce off these moving averages like you can see there so uh, yeah I mean this is going to be something you can see a 1% trade there, even though the, the wave was over, we hit that moving averages, the bots start buying again, uh, just in case there's a second wave, right? Uh, and yeah, that's exactly what we're going to be looking for here. We're going to be looking for this to cool off a little bit. We're going to come back down. We're going to tap on this 7 SMA and then we're going to bang it once we hit that bad boy. Okay, that's the plan uh, towards the upside. Anyway, towards the downside, if this is a trap, uh, what you can expect over the next four to eight hours, if this is a trap, is that cooling off period, maybe, uh, well, likely still that 1% move up, right? But if it is a super trappy wappy, right, uh, then we won't even, we won't even respect this. And we'll probably do something along the lines of breaking underneath it in a candle, retesting it, and then uh, breaking down. And if it is a situation like that, and you're not liking it, and you've already entered the long here, which does happen occasionally here, guys, right, probably about 20% of the time, uh, then, uh, yeah, I mean, what you can do is actually get out uh, in a small, either, either a small profit or 
a break even once we do retest this moving average from the other side and this will play out over a few hours uh, and then obviously you've got your one percent stop loss anyway uh, if it does want to come down and again the risk reward on this strategy is fantastic again it's about 80 20 for success rate so uh yeah we are just going to chill with this one and that's the plan coming forward if this does want to just blast towards the moon here guys then uh, that's fine as well and we will be targeting some kind of uh, probably some kind of 15 uh, minute movements here and, and playing it off of this moving average instead so uh yeah if this does want to blast off and not test this just yet then uh, we'll look to break the resistances first okay around 64.5 and then we'll look to come back test the 15 minute and then uh, take a trade off of that instead of taking the trade off the hourly 7 sma right uh so hopefully that makes sense to you guys any questions ask me in the comments but the main point here guys is this uh hash ribbons right when this does turn red it's bad and it's just turned red so we need to be very very, very cautious here. We need to be looking at this and saying, okay, uh, there is a high possibility we do get a capitulation event very, very soon. And that could bring us down to around 56 to, to 50K, that kind of area, right? Low 50s to mid 50s. Uh, so just be aware of that, guys, because this, this is super important, very crucial uh, for you traders out there. Uh, and don't get too excited when we do get moves like this. We've got the 60 minute uh, average true range here, weighted by volume towards the upside, about 64 for this will be a crucial resistance so i want to see us get over that that does also align with our with our horizontals here not on this chart uh, but the previous chart we're just looking at right uh so 64.3 and then we've got here about 64.3 yeah roughly basically exactly the same area right so uh if we can get above there fantastic stuff we can start targeting and move towards the upside here uh playing off that 15 minute and obviously breaking whatever high is made above this this 60 minute right if we're below it different story completely if we're below it then it's a resistance and uh it's going to be something where uh we could easily get rejected from so uh, be careful with that this kind of price action in candles on a four hour isn't super common and this is clear manipulation in the charts so just be careful uh, and when when i when i talk about manipulations people think about like conspiracy kind of a mindset with that kind of stuff oh i lost my trade it must be manipulation no that's not what i'm saying here this is just very ad abnormal unorganic price movement uh which yeah you should be cautious with and you should be questioning uh, with that little emoji that goes hmm, uh, that doesn't seem right uh and yes that is going to save you from a lot of traps and a lot of losses when that does come through right so when you do see stuff like this uh, instead of taking the trade here uh, instead you want to be looking at this and going, okay well that's a little bit fishy let's just wait to see if we can get over this next resistance level uh, retest something at least and then uh, and then go from there once we've built some structure along the way right uh, besides that if we do lose because we've talked about the upside trades of course right if we do lose this area here about sixty thousand dollars for bitcoin still crazy we're up at this level okay i don't want to be too bearish but uh if we do lose this then uh yeah we're going to be looking at the lower 60 minute volume weighted atr band we're going to look to poke the little nose underneath there a retest break the low and then we'll be looking for that short down to as we said in the previous video the four hour uh, and the three day uh, average true range here towards the lower side and you're probably wondering why i'm using average true range instead of moving averages and stuff like that uh, well this is actually my own indicator and i've been using it for many many years and it just works okay uh, it just works in terms of plotting out the ranges you can see uh, once we hit two of these bad boys then uh, yeah it is maximum sell pressure or maximum buy pressure and we often get reversals so yes and if we don't get reversals we often get pullbacks as well right so it's very predictable and that's why i use it and we even got the bigger time frame ones here uh, that uh, even add to the sell pressure so uh, that's really how you want to be thinking about this thing if you do want a free trial on this as well, feel free to head to the description uh, where I actually teach you how to use it as well. Uh, but uh, besides that, besides that, uh, what else have we got here for Bitty? For Bitty here, you can see yeah, it's, it's starting to curl over here. A very unhealthy price action there, I would say, on a 15 minute. And what we want to see is it's a nice curl up, right? That healthy price action, something like that, right? Rather than this duh, duh, duh right that's very unorganic looking okay uh, so that's something we will be eyeing up we did take a little short on bmb earlier uh we have been testing i don't think you guys are going to see that there you go i don't know if it's been released so i'm not gonna i haven't signed an nda but you know you know guys i'm gonna be courteous <laughs> of the creators uh but um yeah we did take a this is not bmb this is not bmb uh, let's go to this let's see if this is gonna work nope still gonna go back to doge okay they've changed that but uh yeah 
If you look on the right-hand side here, we did take a little short, and uh, yeah, we got out just in time. Just a quick little scalpy scalp because we saw us breaking certain uh, certain supports here towards the downside. So uh, yeah, we, we played that little air pocket, and we made a little bit of money, and then uh, we closed the trade, and then boom, trap, banged it towards the upside. So uh, timed that pretty nicely, uh, and these trades as well, guys, I am letting you guys know in the private uh, Discord uh, section, okay, the Discord is free, okay, so you can chat in there. Very, very populated now, uh, but... Uh, uh, yeah, we do have a Patreon open for Super Private TA, where basically every trade I take now, I am just throwing in there uh, with some TA. Uh, so that's going to be good. And I'm going to try and ramp it up. I want to get to to like, because um, the market's very active right now, I'm spotting a lot in the altcoin side. And it's a little bit of my own fault because I haven't really been looking too much at altcoins this run. But uh, there's a lot of edges. There's so many edges. It's ridiculous. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be trying to ramp my trades up to 5, 10 trades a day uh, because uh, yeah, it's just, it's free money a lot of the time when you've got the, the experience I've got anyway without tooting my own horn too much. All right, uh, besides that, let's take a look at the on-chain a little bit more. We can see uh, that uh, this is actually more of a neutral slash bullish sign here when we're looking at e electricity consumption. Okay, so this is uh, how much how much the miners are spending, essentially, okay, directly correlated with Bitcoin's price. And we can see here, we did get a massive uh, dumperino on this bad boy. And they, they're basically the miners were trying to push down the mining difficulty for Bitcoin. Uh, and that's absolutely fine. Okay, they want to make more money, so they're gonna they're gonna come together and uh, <laughs> monopolize the industry or whatever, right? They're, they're gonna come together and uh, turn their miners off, lower that mining difficulty, and then uh, once the consensus is reached, they all get back in again, and uh, that mining difficulty goes up. So uh, not necessarily a waste of time, but they might save a couple bucks along the way doing that. Okay, but you can see here this is now flatlined over the past couple days, which is a good sign. It does mean that potentially uh, we could uh, we could head up soon with this thing which could uh which could lead to an uptrend in the macro as well uh and yeah besides that we did talk about this in the last video sorry for blinding you guys with this bright white light uh but oh okay that's an interesting one actually we haven't looked at this in a while uh, energy value sma brought by Caprol. Um, yeah, this used to be a lot higher. Okay, this used to be like 80k. Uh, but as of right now, yeah, currently around 78. So yeah, interesting stuff there. If we do get above that 80k level, it's parabolic. It's get your longs in. It's 100x to the moon. That is what we're really looking for here, as well as this turning green as well. Okay, so uh, yeah, this isn't even cautious trading. This is um, probably more medium aggressive i would say once this turns green you could buy some bitcoin and uh let this thing ride up okay that's that's my plan anyway uh, just based on all the data here when it's green it works out pretty nicely only one um or two scenarios where it hasn't as you can see here but i imagine there was still a massive pump there two or three k ten percent anyway so yeah there is money to be made when this turns green and where we are in the cycle means it just it just rockets okay it, it just rockets so uh yeah we're waiting for that one and uh we're waiting to get over 80k as well so that's pretty much the plan right here if we are looking at this as well in an oscillator format we can see that uh yeah it maybe does have some time to go down first which does align with the hash ribbons capitulation signal as well so uh yeah maybe we do get a bit of downside one more dump one more dump and then uh, we just bang it hopefully hopefully from that point uh, but yeah lots of trades around the corner feel free to subscribe to the channel all of that good stuff here guys and um what else do we have let's just take a little look on the short term liquidation heat map here uh, maybe these guys are going to be targeting 64.4 a uh, nice little level there. They can scoop up about $30 million. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting how much money these guys make. Okay, 70, uh, $172 million are pretty crazy. Uh, and yeah, the pullback here, roughly $122 million, around 63.1. So let's just uh, cross-reference that in a parallel fashion. Uh, was it 63.1? Uh, yeah, roughly where the retest we want to happen is but right now it's bouncing off that five minute seven sma i imagine here is it? yeah roughly roughly uh looking for another wave here it seems but um yeah something i'm not not really gonna be interested in touching just yet here it's a little bit unorganic for me but uh if you are trading this let me know in the comments and uh yeah we'll see how this goes from that point but uh yeah that's gonna be it from me i'll be doing some uh some meme coins some uh, high cap coins and some yeah, we'll do some super low cap. I'll just pick one from the trending list, okay? Um, yeah, 
just be careful, guys, with those with those <laughs> with those super low cap 600k market cap ones because uh, the last one did rug, but it did not hit the criteria for us to actually enter. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's absolutely fine. It's not me promoting the coin; it's me looking for an edge with a chart in the market. Uh, okay, and our edge is in all markets: penny stocks, forex, crypto, micro crypto cap penny meme coins <laughs> you, you you get what i'm saying here guys uh thank you for liking the video as well leave me a comment and i'll see you in the next one be sure to check out byd as well for all of your trading needs cheers